Good morning, everybody. Or let's say afternoon, everybody. This is Pastor Alan Baggett, and I'm coming to give you our word of encouragement today. Amen. I uh getting in a, a little later as uh, than usual, but I had some running to do, and I had to go help out my little grandbaby today, and so I was, I just got through spending a little time with little Annie. Good morning, Blake. Good to see you, sir. And, uh, so hopefully I'm going to see if Annie jumps on here in a minute. I told her I was fixing to do this and, and, uh, and hopefully they'll jump on in a second. So if I see their icon jump up, I don't want to stop and say something to little Annie. But, uh, so I'm going to give you a word of encouragement for today. Uh, I'm, I'll be glad when this cool weather sets out and gets away from us somebody say amen to that one and uh, we get into con some consistent weather they usually say april showers bring may flowers but it looks like like march i don't know what i don't know how to rhyme that but it looks like the showers from march <laughs> are going to do it this year because lord if we get any more rain it's going to be crazy but let me go into our word today we got a good word hey there's miss joanna she's here so Annie should be watching me right now. Yeah, Annie, there you are. Hi, Annie. This is Pop Pops. Uh, I just want to say hi to you because I told you I was coming and leaving to go do this. So I wanted you to know that I am. So hi, Annie. You be a good girl and be good to your Aunt Nene. All right. Now, I can go to our lesson now. Isaiah chapter 45. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 2. The Bible reads this way. I will go before you and will level the mountains. I will break down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron. Now, this passage, there's a lot more that goes with this, but I need to concentrate right here on this. But this passage, man, shows us a heavenly father that is not only for us, but that will go to great extents on our behalf. He says, I'm going to go before you and I'm going to level mountains. I'm going to level mountains. I'm going to break down the gates of bronze. And back then that was the uh, uh, bronze and iron were the two metals that were used in everything. And he says, I'm going to break down those gates of bronze and I'm going to cut through those barns of iron on your behalf. So when we begin to read a situation like this, and we begin to read about a heavenly father like this, this is a heavenly father that will go to great extent to bless us, great extent to go before us, great extent to prepare a way for us. When I read this passage, uh, one of the things that comes, first things that come to my mind that I jotted down was the Lord is on your side. He's on your side. He is going before you to protect you, to, uh, show you favor, to, to prepare the path before you, to, to go before you and take care of situations that you don't even know about that are going on right now. I don't know if you realize it, but there are things that could have happened in your life that could have taken place in your life that didn't because the God, because the Lord went before you. We praise Him and say thank you, Father, for the things that we see that He that that He manifests in our lives because we see the situation, we see the circumstance, and we see His movement in it. But and we give Him glory and honor in that. But there are tons of things that we never seen happen in our life, that never took effect in our life, that were never manifest in our life because God went before us and leveled the mountain before we got there. And so we never experienced that mountain. And and so we, in our in our worship and our praise and our thanksgiving to our Heavenly Father, we don't need to just thank Him for the things that we are cognitively aware of, but things that we're not even aware of. The mountains that he leveled before we got there that we never knew, even knew we were going to have to experience. But God went ahead of us. 
the gates of bronze and the bars of iron that try to imprison our soul and our families and our finances and all these things that, that are in our life that, that he went before us. I say this because the Lord is on your side. The Lord is on your side and he leans towards favor in your life and he leans toward protection. There's so many things that we don't even know about that he's already been been a, a part of and working on so that you don't have to walk that path. But the trick is this, and here's the trick. The trick is we can't rely on our own strength. We can't rely on our own strength. That can only come from our Heavenly Father. And we are strengthened in our lives as we allow Him, our Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit that's in us right now, to remove those obstacles. Now, you know what happens when you try to remove and take the matters in your own hand and you try to remove the obstacles and you try to do all that stuff on your own. You know what happens. And I don't have to tell you what happens. I know exactly what happens. Things go haywire because you are not strong enough. Neither am I. We don't have the strength in our life to handle all the obstacles and the mountains and the gates of bronze and the iron and the bars of iron that come into our life to imprison us, that come to to uh, prevent us, mountains that come to be obstacles in our lives, we just don't have all this, the strength enough to handle all of those. We might could handle one or two obstacles here and there, but to handle them all at one time. And how many know so many times we're overwhelmed and then we have them all at one time? Listen, you don't, you're not strong enough. Allow God. He is on your side. Let him go before you and level the mountains. And, and pray that way. God, go before me today and level any obstacle. Father, level the mountains. Father, break down any gates of bronze. Cut through the, irons of, the bar, bars of iron that may be trying to come against my life and prevent me. Father, you are on my side. I know you have give me favor today. Father, give me protection today. And I don't rely on, on my own wisdom or our own strength today, Father. But I rely on your strength. Father, remove those obstacles as I go forward. Man, begin to pray a prayer like that. Begin to pray a prayer like that. And watch God. And, 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 he'll, and he'll remove things out of your life and obstacles out of your way. And you won't even realize that he's done it. <laughs> because he cleared your path. So today, here's my word. Today, this is what I want you to do. I want you to pray. And as you pray to your Heavenly Father today, just don't ask for something. Just don't ask, hey, God, perform this. God, perform that. I need this. I need that. And we have those prayers, and we need to have those prayers. And, hey, Amy and Brian, good to see you guys here today. And I know we pray those prayers, but, but beyond that prayer today, let's, let's pray this prayer. Father, go before me today. And level out the mountains. Level out every obstacle, Father. Break down the gates of bronze. Cut through the bars of iron that are trying to prevent my life in this situation or that situation. Or whatever may be out there that I don't even realize is out there right now that could come against me. Father, I just lay it before you right now. I, I, I understand that I can't handle all this stuff with my own strength. And, I, and Father, I just ask you to give me favor, give me protection today, and, and, and I turn it all over to you. You are the strength of my life, and I hand it over to you to remove these obstacles. And, and lay that, and, and go through your day with peace, and go through your day with joy. Oh, I've got pain in my body. Still, go through your day with peace. Go through your day with joy. God's healing your body. I'm, I'm anxious today. Go through the day with peace. Go through the day with joy. Lay that stuff over to the Lord. Let him, let him heal your mind. Let him heal your spirit. Let him be your burden bearer. Let him take those things and go through your joy, day and, re, and receive peace and receive joy. Because that's a powerful word. I will go before you and will level the mountains. I will break down gates of bronze and I will cut through the bars of iron because I am on your side. 
And I always lean toward your favor. And I always lean toward your protection. You need only not to rely on your own strength. Let me be the strength of your life. And I will remove the obstacles. And you will not even realize that they were even there. There's plenty of obstacles that we deal with. There's plenty of things that we have to deal with on a daily basis. But I'm telling you, God is removing things. God is removing things out of your path even now that you don't even know about. And so allow him to do it. Let him be your strength. Amen. Hallelujah. That's my word for today. I'm going to pray over you. Thank you for the hearts. Listen, share this. We have to get our algorithm up because uh, there's some opportunities on Facebook and YouTube right now that we can take advantage of. But I've got to get our view time uh, up and I got to get our share, our shares up. And uh, so please share. And and uh, when I put it on YouTube, put it on, uh, send the link to YouTube because I get those hours up too. And there's some uh, opportunities that we can really do to, to really expand a lot of the things that we're doing that I need your help. And so if you'll please do that, watch it all the way through, send it to somebody, have them watch it all through, have them send it to somebody, all that factors in to those algorithms and it's going to help us do a lot more than what we're doing even right now god bless you let me pray father father go before each and every one go before each and every one break and level the mountains before them father break down the gates of bronze and cut through the bars of iron father let them know right now that you're on their side Father, let your favor rest with them right now. Let your protection be around them. And Father, give them the discernment right now just to not do this in their own strength, but let you be the strength of their life and allow you to remove every obstacle. And Father, as they do that, I ask for peace to rest upon them today, that joy rest upon them today, Father. As they move forward through the day, they'll move forward with peace, joy and strength and clarity of mind hallelujah we speak it now in the name of jesus amen amen god bless you guys please hey miss christina good to see you i haven't seen you in a while i'm so i'm tickled to death now you made I'm, you made me a happy camper so listen share it share it share it do the youtube get onto the youtube channel subscribe to the youtube channel Get it. Get friends to subscribe to that. We got we got to get those hour uh, hours up of uh, actually watched all the way through, and uh, and and get the subscribers up so we can take care of some so we can take advantage of some of these unique opportunities that are going that are opening up right now, and uh, so help me out with that. God bless you guys, and I will see you tomorrow for our next word of encouragement, but until then, walk in peace, walk in joy, walk in strength, and walk in clarity of mind. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you guys. I'll see you tomorrow.